So in this video we will talk about something known as server bundles. Uh, this is a diagram which I have taken from IBM documentation and it actually explains the functionality of the server bundle. Uh, if you see in simple language we can say that server bundles are the logical grouping of different pods and these pods are intended to do a certain type of a job for us. So this is exactly equivalent to what you what you used to have as clusters in Maximo 76. As we know in Maximo we have multiple different kind of workloads. So for example we have workload for UI, we have workload for MIA, we have workload for report which we say BROS and then uh, we will have workload of cron and we have seen many times when we have uh, production environment we cluster our environment because we want to segregate the workload uh, not only for high availability but also to improve the performance of the system and <coughs> if you do not have the complex system if you do not have too much workload uh, then you can also have a single jvm and you can run all the maximum load uh, all kind of maximum loads and all kind of maximum jobs into that single jvm so this is the exact concept which we have here in mass but in form of server bundles so as you can see every server bundle provides a route uh, like we have in our maximum 76 where we used to have web server and then we used to map the web server to a cluster here you have a route created whenever you are going to configure server bundle and for that server bundle this particular url is the route is basically going to give you a url and that url you can access to have a specific kind of workload running so if i there are multiple uh, server bundles which are available there are total six server bundles which are there so if the server bundle type is all then this will run all kind of all kind of workloads and there will be no segregation so in this is equivalent to how we have single jvm uh, environment where we are having one single jvm and all our ui mia jobs uh, mobile as well as um, cron and report everything is running onto the single jvm but if you see if you want to segregate it you want to create one ui cluster then for that particular ui cluster you have a ui uh, server bundle then there is another server bundle which is mia this is for mif processing for your web services and all other mif uh, components then if you want to use bert uh, report only server bros configuration then you will have one uh, server bundle <coughs> for report and then if you want to run your cron segregated uh, crons and you have multiple crons multiple escalations and you want to run it on a separate uh, parts to ensure that performance remains optimal you can configure a server bundle cron so how do we configure this server bundles so you need to first of all log in into ocp console and then you have to go to suite administration and come to the workspace application click on manage and then edit the configuration so you will be able to see this kind of uh, dialog box and here you can see that i have an option known as server bundle so here i have actually already set up the server bundle in this environment so you can uh, actually see that there are all the server bundles available but if they are not set up then you may be able to see that this particular checkbox system managed is checked this radio button is enabled and in that case if you want to have a server bundle which is by default configuration right that you will have one all server bundle and on the all server bundle you will be running all the workloads but if you want to segregate them then you have to uncheck it and then you can add what are the different uh, server bundles you have so you can give any name uh, typically it is better to give uh, whatever type of server bundle you are creating and so you can see from the list we have the server bundles we have all as i mentioned that all workload will be running in if you have configured all this is by default which is available then if you want to have a separate mia cluster then for that particular thing you can have mia server bundle created in mass for ui you can have ui then similarly you can do cron you can do report then if you are you are not using kafka and if you are using jms then in that particular case you can also have a standalone jms uh, server bundle which is also possible to configure now below you might be able to see these are some of the options which says default uh, synchronization and mobile so if you are going to click you can see that there are only one option available 
uh, which is right now selected as UI. So either by default it will be set to all or it is set to UI. So this is something which we cannot change. This is something which is already predefined by Maximum Application Suite. So by default you will have UI server bundle which is very correct where all the users will be logging in and then they will be accessing the UI. Then for user synchronization as you know that now the users are getting going to be created into mass core and uh, whenever you need any user administration related task you have to go to the mass core and from the mass core the data syncs the user data sync from uh, uh, mass core to manage right and then that particular job that syncs data from mass core to manage will be running on the mia so either you will have all or you can have by default set to mia you cannot change it to cron or you cannot set it to rpt server bundle or any other gms server bundle if you see because there are no other options available and similarly if you have maximum mobile in the case of maximum mobile you can always either put it on the all or the, it will always be directed to a ui you cannot just like that make the change okay, next thing that we want to also see is the pod count so you can see right now i have different server bundles right i have ui mia report cron and standalone gms and then i have right now one pod uh, for each of it but as you know uh, in our 76 as we have seen many times you have a complex clustering where you have more than one JVM serving a specific workload if you have that kind of requirement then obviously uh, that particular requirement can be achieved by increasing the pod count for example if I just come here and start clicking on plus I can you can see that the number of the pod uh, which is there for the UI is changing. So now what I have to do is after I do this, I need to basically apply the changes. I need to uh, go on the top and apply changes. And once I do, uh, there will be four pod which OCP will spin for me. And then I will have uh, four pods serving the workload. Similarly, if you want to increase uh, any other uh, uh, pod count, you can always do from here.